Well, this boulder here is full of garnets. The sun's not out. Normally this rock would be really shiny because it's basically biotite, mica, and garnet. I hope the red is showing. I neglected to bring my spray bottle. This is like 50% garnet right here. And it goes all the way through the rock. Really nice piece. We won't be taking this one home. <laughs> rocks that Johan picked aside. Nice feldspar crystal. We are in luck. Johan brought his water bottle. Let's take a look at this wet. Again, it's cloudy, so we're missing a little bit of detail, but this is still really nice. Here you can see the garnet better. They're not gem quality garnets by any means. It's just interesting to see. Look at the veining in this large knife. I don't know if you can see the folded, we call them snakes. Here, get them wet, they show up a little better. This is your classic migmatite. This just shows the extreme pressures that were going on when these rocks were forming. Very cool. Look at this tight, tight winded little viper right there. <laughs> Obviously they're not snakes, but they sure look like it. Johan, I'm so glad you brought your spray bottle. You saved the day for me. This migmatite appears to be naturally weathered. And what the neighbor here was explaining to us was that some of these rocks that are here were brought over from the highway department just to get rid of them. Like they fell off of cliffs into the road and whatnot. So this, it wouldn't surprise me if this is completely natural. Look at these holes. Isn't that interesting how that eroded? Migmatite's always one of my favorites. We have what looks like epidote. Get some water on it. I'm not sure if that green is showing or not, but then the blue quartz there. There's a big piece. 